What is going on guys? Um, so today we're going to be fixing pretty much everything that I currently have on with the Supra. As you can see, I've already taken the uh, throttle body apart yet again, because um, I figured you guys don't actually need to see that. Um, but since we've actually last uh, had the car started and things, the car's developed misfire. So I think even though they're pretty new spark plugs in there, they're gonna need replacing. So I figured, why the hell not just go all out and just replace the HT leads as well. And we've got a few other bits that we need to sort out on the inside. Now I'll show you through all of that shortly. So with the spark plugs, the original ones I had in there were NGKs that I put in last year um, when I was trying to get the thing started. As they failed, I've decided let's not go and do the same thing again. So I've upgraded to the Denso Iridium spark plugs. These things cost a small fortune to put into the Supra but hopefully they'll make a bit of a difference. That last spark plug was an absolute pain to get out. Um, spark plug number one decided they wanted to round itself, and I think I might know why it's been misfiring. Spark plug number five, if I show you guys, is completely cracked itself in half. Um, so that might be our slight misfiring issue. So let's get the new spark plugs in um, and then we can get the new HT leads on and see how it starts. These ones are rather helpfully numbered, the ones that come standard. The NGK ones I've got aren't, so you're going to see what I'm about to do, but we're basically going to have to label them up, take each HT lead off one by one, um, and put the new ones on one by one so that we don't get lost which one's which. I don't actually know how well you're going to be able to see this um, but on putting everything back together you may be able to see hopefully if it focuses can we get it to focus basically there's a little crack on the inside of the Y pipe here um, so we're gonna have to take this Y pipe off of the throttle body and uh, put it back together and hopefully that will sort out what would have probably been a vacuum leak in our intake um, system which would have probably led to misfires and all sorts um, so yeah let's let's get that changed so 
So guys, now we've got the intake all apart. Um, we've got basically new gaskets to install. The gasket on the intake is, or the intake manifold I should say, is literally falling to pieces. So luckily I've sort of preempted that and I've got another new one to install. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. <laughs> Right guys, everything's all back together. Let's see if it works. There we go guys. Car's all back up and running. It sounds 10 times better than it did before. It's running really smoothly which is exactly what we were after. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the car. Subscribe for another awesome video. Uh, and of course, click up there to, to watch more.